of this line at least barrier has been, always been the treatment of religious people of their dead ones in judaism in christianity and in the religions before them up to the time of uh, adam all the religions which are mentioned in the holy quran or in the bible you will find no reference of their burning their corpses so we are at one with the religious community of our past and i hope this new trend of burning or cremating the dead ones will be abandoned by people it's not a good trend at all thank you the next question is from mr name loan who is a muslim yes please as man advances in terms of technology does this help or hinder his spiritual well-being it can do both it all depends upon how you employ the technology knowledge is neutral the application is not neutral when you apply your knowledge for achieving good purposes it becomes good if you apply it to achieve bad purposes it becomes bad what was the staff of moses any man can kill people with staffs a powerful stroke of staff and any man can employ that staff for the benefit of the life around moses employed his staff for this purpose so the staff was good but not in its nature but because the master of that staff was good so whatever is left at your disposal employ it to the advantage of mankind and uh, that is the only inference we can draw from the religious teachings thank you next question is from mr roshan banu who is an ahmadi mr roshan yes please with all the natural disasters occurring worldwide such as earthquakes global warming climate change does this signify the start of a major change for the human race these things have happening since times immemorial and uh, they have always been signifying something but not a change which you have in mind they signify changes of course reactions take place to such catastrophes to improve the quality of life to improve the safety measures and so on this still goes on during some great earthquakes recorded in the modern times many teams were appointed of scientists and other knowledgeable people to try to devise means to protect mankind against the disastrous effects of these earthquakes so it's an ongoing process it will happen a thousand years from now or it happened many thousand years in the past as well so it should be taken as a flow of events which at la in in the final analysis is turned to the advantage of man the next question has been asked on behalf of someone who is not here he goes a person has no faith or religion this person has no faith or religion once he dreamt of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and once he dreamt of bagwan right bagwan yes yeah sometimes he believes there is a god and sometimes he says that god does not exist he was convinced that it was the holy prophet although no photographs are available can you please provide some guidance for this person who is undecided in matters of faith if he is not provided a guidance from allah how can i provide that guidance to him myself your conviction that the person you see in your dream 
is is the person may be right may be wrong because he has not seen the face of Rusu, the, the founder of islam <coughs> so how can he judge that the person who appeared to him in his dream was really him satan cannot imitate him but satan can appear as him while he does not look like him at all so this uh, tradition of the holy prophet is misunderstood that is why people think that whenever they see someone as a as the holy prophet of islam he rep- truly genuinely represents him it is impossible <coughs> because that someone delivers a message to someone while he delivers a contrary contradictory message to another one so if in both cases it is the f- person of hazrat f- rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the founder of islam then what a strange person he is he is self contradictory he tells someone that believe in the unity of god and tells another person believe in the hindu concept of bhagwan which has no unity about that concept which is a concept which is surrounded by other gods so this is why i say this is no criterion at all the criterion that he is really the holy prophet lies in his this person's sub- subsequent behavior towards god if influenced by that vision he is led close to god and this vision transforms his entire pattern of life then i can believe that he was true in that vision if he remains wandering away from one thing to another remains undecided and falls back to his original ideas of atheism as well that is impossible for that vision to be correct right i mean not you whoever has asked this question please please the next question is a long one from mr isam t sale who is a muslim where is he he is an he is an iraqi teacher at is it of postgraduate physics ha huh? postgraduate physics very good excellent his question is the <clears throat> the early muslims were caught or gripped by the fear of not repeating mistakes of earlier religions whose holy books were diluted and some would even say tampered with however when this fear turns to paranoia the religion in this case islam becomes fossilized and unable to cope with the time what is the balance that islam should strike between not repeating the mistakes of other religions and that of the urgent demand to tolerate and progress with the times see this uh, <coughs> the central point of this question is that islam as if it is alone in preaching that you should learn from the mistakes of other religions and should not repeat this this is not true in the sense that it is not islam alone which presents this guidance to mankind every religion prior to islam emphasized the same thing our learning from the mistakes of the past and not repeating them so to repeat the mistakes is not does not lie or is not a religious character the character of a religion it is a human character to repeat the mistakes however much humans are warned so unfortunately to err is human it is correct in this sense that they go on repeating the same mistakes which their forefathers had committed 